Good day. Uh, our topic basically is on credit creation by commercial banks. Credit creation by commercial banks. The lending by commercial banks in whatever way, whatever form, whatever is being done by commercial bank, it, 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 it can occur, brings about, it, about, about the creation of money. They can generally, bank, bank generally can uh, lend because they do not need to keep uh, a cash reserve equal to deposit liabilities. This is because banks are not, uh, the, the customers, the customers are not withdrawing all the cash at the same time. They need to keep only a fraction, a fractional uh, reserve in that particular uh, account. When a bank lends, the loan is given to uh, borrowers, not in the form of uh, actual cash, but in the form of uh, bank deposits. And that is how banks were able to create uh, uh, deposit, bank creation. Be before this is given, uh, normally, uh, people, the, the, the customer will be given a kind of a check or to withdraw or a loan spent by writing a check. That check is given to him, will be deposited by another bank, by another customer into another bank, so that the deposit will go up by the amount of a check that he has uh, uh, drawn. So the bank's deposit are money, basically. A bank deposit are money. Therefore, the lending, the commercial bank has created money in that particular uh, scenario. So the limit to the process of creating creation is such that the minimum cash reserve kept by the bank, if the commercial bank has a minimum cash reserve of 20, 20%, for instance, 20%, 20%, and they are given, they are given, Give you 1,000, assuming 1,000, 1,000 naira, okay? The given, it, it keeps only 200, 200, like 220 percent, all over 100 times 1,000. Okay, give us uh, the, 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 the calculation, which is uh, 800, 800. Now, we can equally demonstrate this calculation in bank creation of money by very simple uh, calculation, by simple logic. The, the, the person who received the money pay into the bank, okay? They don't know that the, the, the customer, customer will bring it to the, the bank. They can go to other bank, other bank. So the, 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 the money they created, it may be paid up to pay into another account. If this is so, the balance of the bank, which made by the loan, by the loan, will read in the in the same in the same fashion. For example, we will look at it from the liability uh, uh, and assets, assets. In that it, so the the deposit which has been has been given to a customer, assuming it is one thousand, okay. Part of that 20 percent will be what will be uh, calculated, which is uh, 400 or 20, 20 over 100 times 1,000 over 1. And that will give us a call uh, cash, cash of 200. Now, 1,000 from 200 will give us uh, 800. That will become loan. The loan become 800. And we balance it up. 200 from uh, 300 will give us a 1,000, as it were. And again, we balance it up with 1,000, as it were. Again, the, the uh, deposit, the loan created, and out of, out of uh, that 200, uh, when they put it in another bank, the bank will give, again, 20% of that particular uh, 800, which will give us uh, 150 Naira as cash reserve. Against liability and lend it out to uh, four and sixty, four and sixty naira. The same vein, the same vein. The money that uh, be given to him as a deposit, which will now that is eight hundred naira, and they will charge twenty percent of that, of that to this, or out of this uh, uh, 
800. We will have a reserve of uh, 160 naira. 160 naira from uh, 800 will give us a loan of uh, 640. And 160 plus 640 will give us uh, 800. 800. 800. Again, this particular uh, check given to this customer can be taken to another bank. That's a, the third bank, as the case may be. So the process of creation continues until the total deposit created is the sum of the series. What about this sum of the series? Sum of the series can be calculated using a uh, mathematical uh, form, and this could be done in this fashion. Again, we use a 1,000 as the initial uh, deposit plus 800, which was done to another bank. Again, plus 640, which was equally taken to another bank in terms of uh, deposit. That would be equals to the any time, the any time, which would be 5,000. Five, five, five and that could be done in the calculation in the matter. Now, 1,000 one, one, one plus uh, 1,000 plus uh, 4 over 4 over, over 5 plus 1,000 uh, 4 over 5 bracket 2, that is plus the, the second series. Then the third series will be 4, four over, over it, uh, to power to power 3 and so on and so forth. This will continue until any, any time. In in uh, in uh, in question, and that becomes one thousand plus one plus over four over five to the, the second the second uh, any time plus five four over five bra bracket three and so on and so forth. Again, we can do it in another way, which will be. Uh, Using the same uh, mathematical uh, formula or formula into 1,000, 1 all over 1, 4 all over 1 minus two, 5 equals to 1,000 over 1 over 5. Again, you will invert this. So, some of the, uh, some of the reverse, uh, reverse of, the, of what we have here, which means when you multiply 1,000 times uh, you, you invert it, a reversal, a reversal, a reversal of the whole of the, become 500. F five, five, 500 plus uh, 1,000 will give us uh, 5,000. 5,000. And that's how banks create money. In the process, they have created up to 5,000 or more, as, as the case may be. Then again, we can equally go on and on and on by looking at the, 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 the creation of money by using what we call multiplier uh, concept, multiplier concept, in the sense that if we, we, if we try to look at the creation of money, when well, we have the multiplier, that the amount of time that that money is being multiplied, it becomes what we call the total, total uh, amount, total amount. Uh, of a new of new of new deposit of new deposit all over all over amount amount of original of our original deposit deposit and that will give us that five thousand which is five thousand okay over one hundred by the time you, that, uh, you calculate it to give you five. Five. And that's how banks create money, using the multiplier concept, as the case may be. Now, there are limitations of uh, bank creation. What are those uh, limitations? Lit uh, li lim uh, limitation? One, according to Bahams, it's a guru in uh, banking. He has mentioned three limitations. These are basically one, total amount of cash in the country. Two, the amount of cash public holds. And finally, the cash ratio. Cash ratio is very, very important. Credit can be created only on the basis of cash. The larger the cash, the larger the amount of credit that can be created. But the amount of cash that the bank may have is under the control of a CBN 
uh, Central Bank of Nigeria, as the case may be. Credit creation, uh, credit creation, creation is therefore within the control influence of the central bank of uh, any given country. Secondly, if the the people are in the habit of using cash and not checks, then as soon as credit is create is granted, the the, the the borrower will draw the check and get and get a uh, cash, and that is how the limit a limitation will be done. Now, when the bank's ca uh, cash the RAV is reduced, automatically it, it means that the creation the, the credit creation is reduced. That is the the cash reserve, as for example, twenty percent. The moment it is reduced, of course, the uh, capacity to to create money will be reduced. And if it's increased, it means that the capacity of them to create more 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 deposit, more creation, it will be uh, heightened, as the case may be. And that is how it's been done in uh, banking. The deposit is created do not by the by the bank borrow, but the amount not withdrawn. That is, the deposit is created not by the uh, amount uh, borrowed, but by the amount not withdrawn in the bank. So the, the traditional cash reserve ratio is another factor which will limit the power, power of the bank to create credit. The bank will not let the, let the ratio fall below certain minimum. Okay? Certain minimum, when the minimum is reached, as the case may be, the power of the bank to create, uh, create credit come to an end. Come to an end. So, beside the above, uh, the bank uh, may find that customers do not want to borrow or have the, uh, the, the, the customers who wish to borrow do not have satisfactorily or what we call uh, sec security to offer. The amount will not be able to lend under such a condition. Again, we can go on and on to, to just up to, to just pose the calculation in using the multiplier uh, concept as the case may be. But because of time constraint, we're able to visit that and so on and so forth. Now we will go into what are all what we have in uh, commercial bank. What is commercial bank? How do they can transact their business? Commercial bank structure is structured towards the prevailing in the UK that the branch banking system in UK. So branch banking is characterized by a single banking uh, company con conducting operations at two or more places, as we have it in Nigeria. You see, most of, most of the bank, bank branches are scattered everywhere, right in the state capital or other, other states, as the case may be. And that's what we call branch banking, as the case may be. So, commercial bank institution in Nigeria can be classified into two, basically. The purely indigenous bank, Owned by 100% Nigerians or gov and government and individuals and the missed bank with a, a majority indigenous uh, household shareholding at least 60% equity and the majority foreign interest. Since the banking uh, structure, things have, have, have changed. There are some banks that are basically own 100%, either by individual foreign uh, persons or people that have actually come together to, to float uh, banks, as the case may be. The original, the whole original uh, structure of the Nigerian banks can be done in most cases, major banks in Nigeria. This and, and, the, and the, the, most cases will have their head, head office is located either in Lagos or Abuja, as the case may be, in, in the state capital or the, the area, regional office in other cities or what we call up, up country, as the case may be. Now we will go into what we call the merchant banking. Merchant banking, basically, this we what we call uh, wholesale banking, as uh, d defined by uh, Badova 1907 as a bank whose operate operate operations is all or most of them in the following area one they deal with what we call a corporate uh, financial financial advice on new shares and uh, bond issues capital uh, re 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 reconstruction mergers and uh, acquisition two taking taking deposit and money market operations and uh, foreign uh, exchange dealing and these are some of the functions that uh, Mesha Bank has in Nigeria. It, it, again, medium 
term lending and the syndication of loans is part of their function too. Acceptance, credits, and all form of uh, finances is one of their function as well. They hold the 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 hold of and uh, dealing with a quoted a quoted quoted uh, and unquoted uh, investment and of course fund management on behalf of their clients most typically pension funds and the uh, unique trust investment trust and uh, wealthy individuals who have the money to transact money to transact business so the major difference between merchant bank and commercial bank can be summarized as follow one Merchant banks are wholesale bankers, accepting deposit and deposit in only in large block, like large sum of money, with a minimum of a fifty percent. But this has been increased from for sixty to one hundred percent, as case may be. Why commercial banks act primarily, primarily as retail bankers? Thus, the, 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 the commercial banks do do business with the individuals and corporate organizations. Or company, but Merchant Bank concentrate on corporate uh, customers. Two, the, the Merchant Banks operate as a wholesale banker with only few branches. Why Commercial Banks, as a retailer, need need a wide network of uh, branches. Of course, Merchant Bank provide mainly medium and long term finances, while the Commercial Banks grant short term short term loan and advance uh, advances. While the commercial banks accept deposit from all and sundry, commercial bank depends on public and corporate organization. In their lending activities, commercial banks deal with a wide, a wide variety of customers. While uh, merchant bank, uh, merchant bank deal mainly in the acceptance and the discounting of uh, bills to finance trade and corporate uh, customers. Ladies and gentlemen. These are very, very important in, in dealing with uh, the financial institution as the case may be. And finally, and finally, the beginning, the beginning of a uh, merchant bank, the idea of merchant bank was uh, developed in UK between the late, late 18th century and, uh, and the early 19th century. It was uh, later uh, exported to the USA. Merchant banks are best known in the UK as acceptance houses and as investment banks in the in the USA, and these are what we, we we see in our in our analysis of financial institution, as the case may be. But with because of time, we're able to go into other the services that are offered by uh, organization called Machan Bank, as it were. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.